Choya High Magnet School reflects on its extraordinary Arabic program as it embarks on its 10-year anniversary. Arabic language studies began at Choya in 2007 with 17 students. Instructor Noor Jandali split time between Safford Middle School and Choya during the program's infancy. Students with sustained interest in the program would later choose to attend Choya in order to study Arabic at the high school level. I'm Liliana, I am 16 years old. This is my sixth year in Arabic. I started taking Arabic classes at my middle school. Um, it was sixth grade and I got placed in this class called Exploratory. And I had no idea what it was. And as soon as I walked into this classroom, there was weird scribbling all over the board and there was posters and I couldn't read anything. I was so lost and then my teacher came. He explained this is Arabic and Ever since then, I've been in love with the language. The program has grown tremendously since its first days in 2007. It's become a top-tier IB course of study and now enrolls more than 120 students a year. Ms. Jandali maintains her connection with Safford students, but now teaches Arabic at Choya full-time. Before my freshman year, I actually had no idea what Arabic was. I remember registering to school and I saw for languages Spanish, German, and Arabic, and I was like, what is Arabic? And I ended up learning that it's Middle Eastern countries and knowing like Aladdin and all that. I was like, oh, like now I know where this is from. Like it opened up my mind. Choya boasts a highly successful international baccalaureate program, a strong focus on law-related studies, and intercultural and international studies. Students in Choya's Arabic program go beyond the ABCs and 123s of learning the language. They are encouraged to delve deeper into Arabic studies, to learn about the customs and the culture. They also learn about the food, and even get to try it. Cooking was fun. It was really interesting because the chef came from, came from across the world, actually, and it was... It was, it was a great opportunity to actually have a conversation and talk about the foods. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Students are also invited and encouraged to become global citizens. Through the program's connections with Yala and the National Youth Program, students have participated in community service, conferences, national history contests, cultural projects, and so much more. New technology has played an integral part in the success of this program. Students use online software like Kahoot to challenge themselves and engage in their lessons. Online tools like Google Chat have also allowed Choya students to interact with other Arabic students around the world. Choya's involvement with the Qatar Foundation also made it possible for a few Choya students to travel to Qatar. Most impressively, the benefits of this program do not begin and end in high school. If more people learn Arabic and more people embrace the culture, then, you know, that lessens all these stereotypes. And that's what people who do speak Arabic and people who are in the Middle East, these programs, want you to do. So they'll pay for you to study abroad in college. They'll pay for you to visit a Middle Eastern country in high school. And they, they want you to be part of this culture. They want you to learn about it and learn that these people are just like you. So there's definitely a lot of programs and opportunities. Several students have received substantial scholarship opportunities, in part because of their involvement in this Arabic program. Choya's success has inspired other schools within the Tucson Unified School District to develop Arabic programs of their own. Choya wishes to celebrate a decade's worth of exploration, discovery, education, and academic and personal excellence, and looks forward to many decades more. <laughs>